Good day, guys. Got the Barbell Brigade shirt on. Just got this in the mail. Shout out to Barbell Brigade. And uh, squat day. Um, gonna do some depth check with 275 and 315. I'm going for 370 for a set of 3 to 5. Um, so, here's 275. Depth check, 320. Huge shout out to Barton Geo from Barbell Brigade hooking me up with this shirt. Time to squat, baby. Big up to you guys. Can't wait for you guys to open your gym. I'm really looking forward to working out there as well. Feel the intensity today, guys. Be over there fucking meditating. You're going to get this shit, dude. This is good. Yeah, do that shit. Come on, dude. Hell oh, yeah. Easy as fuck. There you go. Come on. There you go. Come on, get that shit up. Easy. Holy shit. Fuck. Easy. He had that last one.
So, good workout. Good workout, guys. Barbell Brigade shirt over here. Help me hit up. I That might have been a PR. I'm not really sure. That was 370 for five on squat um, and a body weight of 167 and a half this morning. So, I know a lot of you guys want me to do a powerlifting meet in the 165s, but eh, we'll see about that. We'll see. We'll see. Um, good workout, though. I had, had a really good time. Hit my shit. Uh, staying away from those RDLs for a little while, staying away from stiff leg deads for a while, and direct hamstring work for a while. And I actually tested out to see what exercises caused me a little bit of pain in that hamstring. Basically, just behind the knee, low hamstring, kind of behind the knee, um, specifically inner, and um, bent over, uh, bent over hamstring curl one at a time didn't hurt my hamstring. Um, seated hamstring curls didn't hurt my hamstring. I'm pretty sure lying hamstring curls won't hurt him either. But basically when I bend over and I get low enough, um, it was it was hurting. And the funny thing now is it actually doesn't really hurt as bad. But uh, right there, it just did. When I have my feet about a little more in shoulder width apart and I bend down low enough and I feel it right there, the hamstring. I'm really sure it was from doing those RDLs uh, about a week ago. So uh, I'm going to stay away from RDLs for a little while. That's pretty much what I recommend. If you guys feel like an, like if you know what exercise caused you something, some sort of pain, injury, so on, maybe stay away from it for a week or two or a month, and uh, maybe even lower the volume of that muscle, hitting that muscle as well. That's that's been affected. So I'm staying away from RDLs for a while. Stay away from stiff leg deadlift for a while. Although when I do come back to doing that, I'll be doing stiff leg deadlifts quite a bit more than RDL since. Been reading more and more about RDLs and just not really feeling them. So I'm going to be moving into stiff leg deadlifts uh, more so than the RDLs. And also, I'm going to slowly bring back the volume to my hamstring work, the curls and so on, just to be super safe, just to be super safe. I've done the same sort of thing when it came to my shoulder issue that I had a little while back. I tweaked something um, like half a year ago in my shoulder when I was doing a really heavy dumbbell pressing uh, incline. And so what I did was I stopped doing heavy dumbbell incline pressing and um, a lift that was affected by it was my overhead pressing so I, and I basically stopped overhead pressing for about two, three, four weeks and working my way back into overhead pressing uh, really slowly working my way back up in weight so uh, I'm going to do the same thing for my hamstring better play it safe rather than sorry um, you only got one body and uh, better take things the safe route rather than overdoing yourself and causing us more serious injury, right? Ogus salad tilapia, yams with cinnamon and ooh, tons of good stuff and uh, veggies and Dexter. So I'm watching Magic City. I just picked up my uh, Chipotle. Ha, they wrote me a little note. Matt Ogus, hello. Enjoy your food. Chipoodles, big smiley face. I love my Chipotle, but I also love my Magic City. Anyone who's watching this show, shout out to you guys, Magic City. Gosh, Ike is such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. Torn between his two sons. Oh, so stressful. But, hey man, just gotta be thankful that my life isn't that stressful. But, who knows, who knows. Maybe one day. August 12th. Just enjoy my Chipotle. Okay, I just got a text from Lovato. He said, yucky in the house. Which means he's here. He is here, so let's go let him in. This is like the final move-in day, guys. Uh, it's like 1.30 a.m., but uh, he is here, so I'm gonna go help him get the rest of his stuff into the house, get him settled. Dude, I'm excited. Okay, guys, so we're all moved in. Hey, bro. Hey. What's up? <laughs> Just mine that I finally moved in. Just spying on you real quick. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Check out his room, guys. It's nice and it's clean. It's, it's clean right cool, now. Man. I'm excited. You got his own little room here. I think we're probably moving that desk out, the other room, for more productivity, more room in here as well. But uh, yeah, this dude lives with me now. It's crazy. Dude. Brothers is. living together. Pretty much. Pretty soon this will be our condo in uh, SoCal. Jeez. Feel me? Strong. Chase dreams, man. Achieve them. Uh, Tell you, man. Lake Elsinore, man. Property out there is 
Lake Elsinore. Lake Elsinore, man, I'm telling you. Familiar. SoCal, yeah. Uh, OC. We got that flight co uh, coming up, Arizona. Soon. Yeah. LOA coming soon. Blue Stringers coming soon for time reference, right? This is yeah. the first batch of Blue Stringers ever. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, this is like my old bedroom when I was like 18. When I was like 17, 18. See, see you want to know how? That's all right. <laughs> what was I don't, the other room being used for? I don't buy gifts to ask girls to see your ball. I write it on a fucking mirror. And that's it. <laughs> and you ask you to pay you back for the paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, this used to be my room when I was a kid. Dude, look. When I was like 17 and 18. This is how, this is how and amazing 19. Um, huh? Mama Ogus is. Oh, yeah. Myron? Yeah, my mom had the abstract that. artwork going Dude, that's, here. that's a nice painting. It is, though. Yeah. No, actually, when I saw it, I, I walked in my house, and I was like, fuck, that's nice. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck is this painting for? <laughs> I'm like, why did you buy this nice-ass painting? Like, oh, no, we so put that in, dark. that's for Chris's room. I was like, fuck, I'm hella jealous. I hella yeah, wish it was me for a moment. I'm stoked, man. Shit. She was just some good times. Yeah. It's about to go down. Shit is. That's true. August. What? 24th. Arizona. Well, no, I mean, like, what is the day is it today? Oh, it's like August 13th or something okay. like that. I'm just 14th? trying to say history. I'm trying to remember what day it is that I actually officially became a uh, resident at. What's the address here? <laughs> <laughs> Strong. Some, some. Some, 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 uh, near sack. <laughs> sure. Putting your address on video. Hey, you want me to give Michelle a security number? <laughs> okay, so. Hope you guys are enjoying the life of Ogus Cake. Equip me a little bitch! Ogus Cake!